Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyblock. Now last episode, I built this barn, or at least started to build it. And in between episodes, I finished it. And honestly, I really like it. It's got a really like open feel to it. And incorporating the skylights was a really fun challenge. And in the end, it turned out really nicely. But uh, that's all I did last episode. Well, I also made this guy's platform, but you can see that. Now these past few episodes, you guys have been voting for what I actually do in the episode. And each time, I've been including a joke option. And you guys actually chose that. You voted for me to actually go outside and touch grass for the first time in my life. So, uh, guess I gotta go do that. <sighs> well, that was painful. I guess I'm like a vampire now and the sunlight burns me. But since you guys technically didn't vote for an option I could do, and the next closest are actually tied, I guess I do a bit of both. And we're gonna start with some building. What kind of building might you ask? Well... The other day, I was over here in the nether, and I AFK'd for about an hour. Now, I got a lot of it done. In fact, I haven't emptied this since the last time. And through all of it, I have acquired quite a hefty sum of gold. And you probably know what this means. That's right. We're duplicating more. Ow! Stop it. Ouch. We're duplicating dirt. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And then we can get to some bigger projects. The more I have to duplicate dirt, the more I wish that for one, I had made that piglin bartering farm that I talked about a long time ago, and two, that duplicating dirt was easier. But now that it's mostly done, and I say mostly because I still have two stacks of gravel left, I have mostly duplicated the dirt. Now my plan for the dirt is to split it between two things. For one, I'm placing it over here, and two, I'm also going to be making some new and expanding my old farms. And when I mean that, I mean these. I'm probably gonna bring the dirt all the way out here, as well as bring them longer, maybe even make more, I don't know. There's also this area back here, which could be a good spot, but I'm not sure. Really, it just depends how things go. So let's start off with this right here. I'm gonna try and not use all my dirt in this one spot. Okay. Well, that's done, and I've just realized there's a way better way for me to do this in the future. When I craft coarse dirt, what I can do is I can place it, and then I can just hoe over it. I don't have a hoe, I'm gonna go make one. So basically, if I hoe it once, it turns to dirt. I literally just have to place the coarse dirt, then hoe over it, and then just let the grass spread on it. I've been wasting so much time this whole time, and I don't really need this hoe either, so bye. Oh yeah, you might be wondering why I just threw an iron hoe in the void. Well, due to my work on the barn, the iron farmer has been loading basically the whole time. And it turns out, that means I get a lot of iron. So yeah, infinite iron is true this time. But you know, bragging about being rich in Skyblock out of the way, let's get to work on the next farm. Or well, the first farm, because I haven't done any yet. What I'm going to do is, as I said, right before this, I'm going to bring these out and bring the dirt here. Really, it's just gonna mean I can farm more and that this area looks better. And today, we're doing a lot of that stuff. Okay, so I finished the farms, and I realized, just as I had started, that I probably shouldn't have thrown out that iron hoe because I literally needed it. So I had to craft a brand new one, but I got it all done, and now I can throw this one out again. So let's move on to the next farm, which is actually the next farm this time. If you've been paying attention a lot in my episodes, you will have realized that I am constantly running out of oak logs, or even just oak wood, because it is quite a major part of my building. And while uh, this farm is not sufficing. So back in this corner, I'm gonna make more oak wood. And I just realized that's gonna require me getting more oak. I should have thought this through. I don't know how much I have. 25. Great. Well, I'm too lazy to collect more, so I'll do with what I got. And I know completely well this is just not going to be enough. <laughs> I'm also running in torches, but I'm lazy too. 
Let's use some of my coal, which I won't be able to get any more of, and I'm currently wasting. Don't you love when you do that? <laughs> Alright, me being self-deprecating out of the way. Let's do some building. Again. Yeah. Well, the new tree farm is completed. So to have this area filled in now, and we've got an antithesis, or it's probably not the right word. It's like the opposite for the melon farm. I probably could fit in another row or two, but I like the center area. Now what I want to do is fill in this area with dirt, but I don't have enough, so I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll get back to you when I start filling this in. So while I do this, I just wanted to take some time and talk about the series and basically what it's done for me. Basically, in the three months I've had this series now, I have gained over 100 subscribers. And to put that into picture, that is about a subscriber every single day, which hasn't happened to me, I think, for a year and a half. So, you know, to everyone who's new to the channel and people who might be new on this video, thank you so much for checking this out. And thank you so much for sticking around if you do, because, you know, it might just be a number, but when you think about it, it's just one more person who likes your videos enough that they say that, yeah, I'll, I, I want to know when more come out and I'll be back for it. It's really encouraging to know there are people out there who like the stuff you make. <laughs> and this Skyblock series has allowed more people to find my channel and to see the stuff I make. And the fact that a hundred of you have seen that and be like, I like this 15 year old kid's content is pretty cool. Though the way I stated that sounded kind of weird. You know, scrap that last part, I guess. <laughs> With this channel, really, I want to try and make what makes me happy and mostly is enjoying for you guys. Because, you know, if you guys aren't liking the videos, you guys aren't going to come back and then I'm making videos for no one. That's why I started doing the community tab polls. Then you guys can vote on the best thing that you guys want me to do. If I could get more, you know, input, I would. So leave it in the comments below. Leave it in the comments on the community polls. Do anything you want. Get the message to me, you know? But, um, talk it away. Let's move out to our next option. Or next task. I'm, it's getting kind of late. I'm confusing myself with my speech now. So for a bit now, I've had my nether portal located right here. And it's a horrible location. Like, honestly, if I come out through the nether and I keep walking... Boom, I fall down. So what I'm gonna do is move it inside, more specifically into here. This area is kind of like, it's like the back rooms. Whoa, <laughs> no, not really. That was a stupid analogy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move like my nether portal in here or something because then it's out of the way and then I don't have to worry about it. That That's basically it. Why is there a loose horse here? I didn't know I could have more passive mob spawning. Huh, really interesting. You know, I love when this stuff happens. It's so great. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go mine more wood, and I can get this room started. Well, look at that. It's very unfinished, but I think it looks good. I liked this design where it's like the layered stairs, and it looks pretty cool. And the nether portal here works a lot better. Though I do still need to remove the one above ground, so uh, let's do that. I'm also noticing that the animals are spawning back again, which probably means I ended up moving them out of spawn chunks, which is really good because that saves a lot of work if I need to spawn more things. But uh, let's quit talking about mob spawning and remove this portal. I'm so glad I can actually get obsidian that I didn't have to rely on this 10 obsidian for like everything. If I did, that would be quite painful. Originally when I placed it here, I thought it was gonna have to be the permanent spot, but thankfully it's not. If it was, well, my island would be a bit differently planned. And there we go. This platform is now open. For what? I have no clue, but it's staying there. Ow. Oh, that reminds me. I need to place the berries in the open space over there. Just gotta keep up with the design I made for the island, like, two months ago. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna keep that big tree there. They're just so annoying to remove, I don't want to mess with it. So the island has actually grown quite a lot. Like, genuinely, 
Building-wise, this may have been my most productive episode. We moved the nether portal and created a room down there. We made this area here, and we made that area down there. And in building the room in the nether portal, I expanded the underbelly of the island, which I want to do a lot more on, like halls and everything. I think it'll be great, and it can where I they actually have my base instead of living in a tiny house. Right there. Ow. I hate flying into roofs. But until next time, this is the end of episode 29. There will not be a community poll for episode 30, because I've already decided what I'm doing. And you just have to wait and find out. If you stayed all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was worth your time as much as it was worth mine. Now as I head towards this pig which I'm about to murder, I just want to say, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, you'll be like this guy. Hey, he died in one shot. That's nice.